A new report claims the Havana syndrome is linked to Russian sonic weapons. A new investigation by multiple news outlets has linked the phenomenon to a Russian intelligence unit. The true nature of Havana syndrome, which is named after a spate of suspected attacks which began in Havana, Cuba back in 2016, has remained somewhat of a mystery for the better part of a decade. Victims of the phenomenon typically report symptoms such as fatigue, headaches, and nausea, as well as debilitating long-term health issues that have proven difficult to treat. While investigations by government agencies have predominantly ruled out any possibility of foreign involvement, a major news media investigation by The Insider, Der Spiegel, and CBS's 60 Minutes seems to have unearthed new evidence to suggest that the victims were deliberately targeted. According to their research, a very specific Russian military intelligence unit known as 29155 was present in the same cities at the same times as the attacks took place. The same unit has been also connected to the poisoning of Russia spy Sergei Skripal in 2018. Intriguingly, the investigation also found evidence to suggest that the unit had been involved in the development of non-lethal acoustic weapons, otherwise known as sonic weapons. Such sonic systems could easily account for the symptoms experienced by those affected. And what has made the U.S. government's official position on Havana syndrome so frustrating is that, despite playing down the possibility of foreign countries being involved, agencies have failed to actually provide any sort of viable alternative explanation. So could they have been covering up what they really knew about the phenomenon? Unsurprisingly, Russia has since moved to deny any involvement. No one has ever published or expressed any convincing evidence of these unfounded accusations anywhere, said Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov. So all of those are nothing more than unfounded accusations, he claims. Now, this is by BBC News on Unexplained Mysteries by T.K. Randall. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.